What is up crew? Today I want to talk to you about how different foods are going to impact blood sugars along with my favorite diabetes friendly meal. Now, of course we know that if you are insulin dependent like me, everything's pretty much on the table as far as foods that are an option, right? You just like take insulin for it, but there are some that are going to be easier to manage with blood sugars. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite foods that I have available. So here's the caveat for today is that it's not favorite meal of all time. It's my favorite meal uh, with the foods that we have available right now because we're actually leaving town to go visit family for the holidays soon uh, in a couple of days. We're kind of like going through what's left in the fridge. So with what's left, these are my favorite foods and here's how I'm gonna pair them up to make sure my blood sugars cooperate. Hopefully they do because I will be recording it for you. In fact, let's get a quick, quick start on what the blood sugars look like right now. I'm gonna open up my CGM report and uh, see what the blood sugar, that's not too bad. There you go, you can see that. Quick glance, got 113. So looking pretty smooth going into it. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what the, uh, the food is, talk about how I measure it and everything. But also I wanna share with you a quick piece of technology that I recently came across that I think is really cool. And uh, I've been using it for a short bit right now and I wanna talk about what my experience has been uh, and also who it might be useful for. So without any further ado, let's get into our meal. All right, so we're gonna jump in real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what I found and why I'm going with it. All right, I'm point it out here. So first off, we got this stuff right here. These are Kodiak cakes, and this is a protein pancake that I'm gonna show you how I make it differently and why I love it. Now, pancakes typically you see filled with syrup. Not filled with syrup, there's syrup on top of them, right? This is my secret ingredient. I actually really love almond butter and or peanut butter on top of my pancakes. It's my favorite. Uh, so I'm putting that on my pancakes. And again, I'm gonna show you how I make pancakes a little bit differently. Uh, it's gonna be fun for you. So I'm also having coffee. I got my coconut and almond creamer. Here's the coffee itself. So I add this bolus or this uh, these carbs into my bolus because I'm having coffee right after lunch anyway. So I just add that one in there to the carb count because there are some carbs in there. I've got some pitted prunes right here and uh, only a couple left in there so there should be enough for a full serving. I got my food scale right here to measure these out. Reason being, check this out, on this, uh, this label, right, we got serving size is four pieces or 40 grams. 40 grams is what I'm going to be using, right, because that's more exact. So I'm going to measure out 40 grams on there, that is 26 grams of carbs. So we're going to go ahead and measure those out and then here we got pineapple tidbits and organic mango and be combining those into a fruit smoothie. It's gonna be delicious. And of course, I got something special hiding back here. Ho, 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 the dark chocolate peanut butter cups for the extra delicious dessert at the end. So with that being said, let's get cooking. All right, quick break before I prep all that food over there. Uh, I wanna let you know, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I am not a doctor, right? I just simplify blood sugars. Uh, if you're new here and haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Matt Vandevecht. I'm a certified master fitness trainer and nutritionist, speaker and author on all things type one diabetes, and I'm a type one diabetes coach. I've been living with type one diabetes for 12 years, uh, and this is kind of my thing. It's my passion in life to help others like yourself who are living with type one. So. I want to give that quick intro, let you know who I am, what I'm about, and now we're getting into cooking, and I'm going to show you my special way of, pro of providing, of putting together this, uh, this masterful art piece of a pancake. So, let's get into it. All right, so while that pancake, that beautiful masterpiece is cooking, I wanted to share with you guys that piece of technology that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. It's actually an app for your phone. And uh, this app company actually reached out to me not too long ago and asked if I would you know, review this video. And so I said, sure thing. So just to let you guys know this is something that was sponsored, but also I wanted to bring up the fact that I looked into it and I ended up upgrading to their top tier level because of one key factor that made me extremely curious uh, I've actually never seen this used and uh, actually been successful in an app for people living with diabetes before. And so it's really sweet. I want to show you guys actually uh, my screen. I'm going to do a quick screen recording for you guys, but real quick, I want to show you another key feature that I thought was pretty brilliant. And so right now you can see I'm in the app itself. It's called Diab Trend, uh, but they've got a little microphone here. So I can say, 
blood glucose 117. And it's going to pop up and say, do you want to add that into the log, right? And I do, because my blood sugar is currently 117. It's gone up four points since our last check-in. And then right there, oh, I, got a, I got a little award. Look at that. Commander, voice recognition. That's the thing I love about this app is it's gamified, right? Where you like get achievements as you're going through it. It's pretty sweet. Uh, but I'm actually going to show you guys the inside of the app, my experience with it, and then show you that one key feature as well. So let's jump into it. All right. So this is inside of the app. So what I'm doing is I'm recording my screen right now on my cell phone. So you guys can get an idea of what this looks like. Now, of course, we can go ahead and here, add, you know, glucose, insulin, food, exercise, sleep, weight, period, A1C, medication, illness, hypo, blood pressure, all this great stuff. We're going to add some food in a second, but I want to show you this right here is the microphone piece that I used. We'll see what it, oh, look at that. It's picking up really well. I'm going to cancel out of that though, because it thinks that I was trying to tell it something. <laughs> uh, of course, we've got this camera right here, got our glucose tablets. So what we can do for fun, let's open this up. Glucose tabs. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Seriously, that is just bonkers. And uh, once we get out of here, and as you saw, there's a couple of different options that popped up. Um, I'm going to add my food in. You guys can see what I ate for lunch. Uh, now, what you can do is the advanced, where you go in, you add food, you search for, you know, pancake, and it pops up with a bunch of different options. So you can look through those and see what the averages look like. Great way to get an estimate for your carbs as well if you don't know how many carbs are in something. However, I actually measured out all of my, uh, my macronutrients, or my carbs, fats, and proteins. So for ease of use, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter this in. So I had 113 grams of carbs. I had about 35 grams of protein and about 41 grams of fat. So what I'm gonna do here is save that. See that adds it up. So, so far today, hey, another one of those uh, awards, sweet. Um, 208 carbs so far today, I'll probably get up to, you know, 350-ish, maybe 400. Um, average day for me, probably around three to 400. I'll just you know, count it about that. Uh, that being said, what I also wanna do is go ahead and add my glucose. So right now, let's double check. I'm at 155. As you can see, kind of got a little bit of a, a rise that happened there, and that was on purpose uh, for the most part. Didn't wanna to shoot to 155. I was actually aiming for about 140. Because uh, we're heading out the door right now, I'm going to go run some errands, and I've got some insulin on board, so I want to make sure that I take care of my blood sugars. But with that, we got 155, so watch this. I'm going to hit the microphone. Blood glucose is 155. And there we go. So I'm going to add that in for current time. Now I'm going to tap the food entry. It says that I ate it right now. I did not. That was about an hour and a half ago. So I'm going to hit the edit button. I'm going to walk in here because I forgot to do the time frame. And I'll hit the time, there we go. Uh, it was about two o'clock, which is 1400. Two, I think it was 245, something like that, we'll call it 40, was when I ate the food. So I should have logged it earlier, I didn't. Great thing about this app though, is that you can retroactively add these things. So I'm gonna hit modify. And now I have a one day streak. I love these things, <laughs> it's definitely fun. So as you can see, I've got my glucose, uh, my food, you saw the camera, the microphone. We can go in here, add food. Um, I actually did work out earlier today. I think I logged it. There it is. Yep. 40 minutes down below. Uh, I got a couple glucose readings and uh, as you can see, this thing tracks just about everything and it's very intuitive. We got my profile as well. Um, tracks your calories. So it's just a fantastic way to gather all of your information in one place. And best of all, it's on your phone. It's on the go. Uh, so that's it for the app kind of glimpse at it and there's a ton more stuff in here like the, the educational content and uh, you know you'll have to get it and play around with it yourself which I would encourage you to do uh, at the link in the description but uh, let's get back to the video. One more thing I forgot to mention was I am also going to be adding in the insulin that I took however and you can answer you know short long is it in the abdomen or not um, I'm not going to be showing the dose that I gave because I do not want anyone to compare their insulin to carb ratio with me. We're all different, all right? We all require different amounts of insulin. Uh, I have nothing to hide, but I just want to make sure that you guys aren't comparing that. So I will be logging my insulin, which is going to help it know more about where I'm at, help it predict my blood sugar, because obviously you can see here it still says no prediction. I need to make sure I give it enough data to do so. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you're giving it as much data as possible so that it has that full picture view of what's going on in your life. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to mention, let's check out our current blood sugars, see what they're looking like. 
So it's come down to 149. And what I wanted to point out was the type of meal that I inputted uh, with the carbs, fats, and proteins, right? We've got right here, type of meal that I inputted, we got the 113 grams of carbs, 35 proteins, 41 fats. So the reason that I, I like this macronutrient split, it's got enough proteins and fats in there to slow the digestion of the carbs. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a delayed rise there. And that was the plan. Uh, it worked out better than uh, I expected today. You know, we were cruising now at 149 and it bumped to 155. That was the highest it went. So now it's coming back down. And uh, with the errands we're about to run, that should bring it back down somewhere between 80 and 100, which is perfect, you know, right before dinner happens. So uh, about two hours after the initial dose now and the, uh, the movement should bring us back down. But that's what I like to see. Uh, if I am going to be leaving the house, especially carrying our, our new infant, <laughs> my daughter, uh, I want to make sure that my blood sugars are in a spot where I have a little bit of a buffer there for the drop, especially considering I do still have some insulin on board as well. Uh, so the, the carbs I had mixed with the fats and proteins, nice and slow, uh, did not see a massive spike and will likely not see a massive drop since those proteins are still hidden. So uh, that's what I wanted to explain to you guys about glycemic index and just the macronutrient pairing and kind of how I structure my meals when I look at them initially if I'm building my own meal at home. So as you saw, pretty darn cool, right? Uh, it's got the gamification, it's got all these different things you can log, it's got the food recognition camera, which blew my mind like that's what really pushed me into just diving into this thing because uh, I mentioned they reached out I don't usually do reviews for companies and just so you're kind of aware I get like 20 companies a month that reach out and want me to do reviews I turn most of them down because the reality is I'm not gonna tell you to look into something unless I would use it myself so this is one of those things where I could actually see myself using this app it's actually quite useful uh, especially for tracking all of your data so I wanted to keep an eye on the food recognition so I tried a bunch of different things the first thing that I tested was glucose tabs and it actually nailed it. It knew that they were glucose tabs. It knew how many there were in my hand and it counted the carbs exactly. <laughs> I was kind of blown away. Uh, but of course, with more complex foods, it's a little bit more difficult for it to uh, assess correctly. You know, if you've got chicken on top of rice, on top of, I don't know, green beans or something, it's not gonna be able to see through your food, right? It doesn't have x-ray vision. But whatever's on top of the plate, it's usually pretty good at identifying what it is and what the counts look like. So the food recognition aspect was amazing and they've actually got 1300 different types of foods in their app. It can recognize through that camera. So that's one key feature that I absolutely loved. As you saw me practice earlier, the voice recognition is really cool to log your insulin or your blood glucose and um, just have that in case you are busy. You know, what if you're cooking and you wanna log your uh, blood sugar, so it makes it really easy to do that as well. Now, if you are logging things in the app, there is also a four hour blood sugar forecast where it will start predicting what could potentially happen in the future with your blood sugars. So you could try to avoid more of those scary lows and frustrating highs as you can see them start to happen before they get there. And as you know, I love the idea of predicting blood sugars. This is how I manage my diabetes. You, you should probably know that by now. Uh, so the idea that an app can help you predict blood sugars as well fantastic addition on there. Uh, now, of course, it's not strictly perfect in, in medical advice that they're giving you in that app, but to have an idea of where it's going to go, it's next level. It's something that a lot of people would benefit from. Now, the glycemic index, and you've probably heard me talking about this before in previous videos, but the glycemic index or the GI of a food is essentially a rating of how high your blood sugars may spike as a result of eating it. So the glycemic index itself is a scale from zero to 100. Uh, the higher the foods are on that scale, the more likely they are to spike your blood sugars, right? Uh, you think about glucose tablets are up towards the 100, whereas broccoli, a lot lower on the list, right? So you look at, uh, I mean, we could talk about complex versus simple carbs and like all that fun stuff, but the idea is that the glycemic index gives you an idea for how high your sugars may spike. And this app also knows the glycemic index of the foods that are in the app. So gives you an also, also gives you an idea of what those foods could do to you as you're tracking and logging in the app itself. Now in the app itself, it's actually got this thing called the Dia Panda, and it's this really cute little uh, emoji looking thing that guides you through and kind of trains you on different aspects of your logging, on diabetes, and it walks you through the whole process. Uh, and that's kind of where the gamification comes in as well, where you can kind of level up and achieve different uh, unlocks and whatever, it's super fun. 
Uh, but within the free version, because you know when I first downloaded it, it is a free version, you actually get quite a few things. There's educational advice and uh, recommendations that were actually compiled by doctors and dietitians that are throughout the app on a bunch of different topics. I was kind of nerding out going through them and checking out what kind of information they had in there. Of course, you have the ability to log a ton of different data points, your food, your sleep, your hydration, your blood sugar, your A1C, your weight. I mean, the list goes on. It allows you to keep track of a lot of different moving parts so that you have that to look back on. It has night mode, it has voice recognition, it has the ability to add friends to make it more of a social aspect. I mean, this app's got a lot of things that I feel like uh, in the past we found in single apps uh, before, right? There's one that's for social and one that's for your insulin and one that's for your estimated A1C. And this one kind of brings all of those together. It also allows you to set goals as you're going through. So, uh, of course, with the gamification aspect, you're going to want to sign in and unlock these achievements and level up, which makes it more fun. You know, it makes diabetes a bit less of a, a boring, monotonous thing because you're able to log in, unlock achievements, and then, you know, push yourself to the next level. But what's also really cool is that they've agreed to do something for you guys since you are in my subscribers list. What they want to do for you is give you 75% off of the premium package that I ended up purchasing. I didn't know they were going to do that. Uh, so I actually purchased it at full price, which shows you that I actually value this thing. I think it's pretty cool and it's cool enough for me just to jump in and pay for it. Uh, but they wanted to offer that to you since you are my loyal subscribers and you're part of my crew. Uh, my warriors and so they wanted to give you that 75 percent off premium which you could do i think it's a month three months or a year something like that there's a bunch of different options and flexibility uh, and within that there's a coupon code down below that you can click on in the description of this video and that's going to allow you to get that but also for everyone there is a free option as well so there's a free trial you can jump in there do what I did, I jumped into the free trial first, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is super cool, I'm just gonna pay for it. <laughs> and once I did it, unlocked a whole new bunch of things that just uh, unlocked a whole new potential for managing my diabetes, for logging different aspects of the data points, and, uh, and of course you get the cool camera that can see what carbs are in what foods. So <laughs> if that's something that you might benefit from, uh, if you're somebody who does value getting information down logged somewhere and documenting it so that you can track it, right? Because what get measured, what gets measured gets managed. We all know that. If that's something that you would find valuable, definitely click on the link below. Grab the free trial, just check it out. Can't hurt to do that. Uh, and then if you like it on the free trial, you can do what I did and just go for the paid version or you can keep using the free trial for as long as you want uh, within that period and take advantage of it. It's something new, it's something that I had never seen before, especially with the, the audio rec voice recognition, the camera recognition of foods, and I think it's worth checking out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click that link in the description, check out their app, and uh, see what they're all about. Say hi to the Diet Panda for me in the app. And of course, if you have not yet, if you're brand new here, be sure to subscribe. We put out videos at least once a week on all things type 1 diabetes. You guys are awesome. Have an amazing rest of your day, and keep up the fight.